How's everyone doing? I'm here today with Andrea. How are you? I'm good. And we're about to watch The Houses That October Built Part 2. This is the first one. And you just saw the trailer. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the trailer for the second one? Bad. <laughs> All right. Do you want to elaborate? Or? Um, I mean, I've never seen the first one, but it kind of looked really cheesy. And it looked like it's not going to really be that scary. And I didn't really understand the premise until you explained it. Well, I mean, they kind of talk about the premise in the trailer. Uh, the premise for the first one was, I liked the premise. Um, I hated the ending. Uh, it was a big missed opportunity with certain, like, of the creepy characters on the back. It's basically a group of friends, kind of found footage style, and uh, they go around all across the, I think it's like mostly, like, the, the deep south kind of area, looking for the most extreme haunted house, uh, and basically trying to, um, you know, take video and stuff of it. And uh, they end up meeting these crazy people who almost end up killing them. And you kind of leave it off at the end of this one thinking that. I was like, that's the way you're going to end it. And then uh, the sequel apparently is they're going to do the same exact thing. Look for the same, you know, for extreme haunted houses, you know, after they were almost just killed uh, in the first one. So I'm like, this is kind of a, it's the same cast it looks like. It was kind of like a crappy, like, redo essentially doing the same exact concept. So... Um, but I figure, you know what, give it a chance. The first one, a lot of people really did enjoy it. So I like the concept a lot, but the ending just killed it for me. And again, missed opportunities here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and watch it. I got a uh, advanced screening link, which I've had for like a couple weeks now. But I figured it's finally time to uh, watch it. And uh, we're about to go do that. So are you excited for this? Sure. <laughs> Part two. What did you think the, the name of it was at first? The 13 yeah. Houses October It's because uh, there was the other movie, 31, with the clowns in it, too. You got it probably, like, yeah. mixed up in there. We'll have to watch that one sometime soon, too. But now, The Houses That October Built 2. If you've seen The Houses That October Built, definitely let us know what you think of the first one. And if you've seen the second one, too, or if you're excited to see the second one, let us know. But uh, we'll be back in a moment after we watch the movie, and we'll give you our thoughts on it. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And here we go. It's got my name down there for the, the screen. Is it going to be there for the whole time? It is. It's going to be there the whole time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Manson quote to start it off. All right, and here's the official title screen right there. You can still see my name, the watermark down there, which will be through the whole freaking movie. <laughs> Good times. But uh, what do you think of that intro? Um, it didn't really make much sense because I haven't seen the first one. But... Well, I already told you, like, the first one... Uh, this is actually kind of the sequel right here. Spoiler, I guess you should say, but uh, the trailer for this one uh, ruins the whole kind of climax of the ending. Uh, you know, kind of leaves you wondering if they were killed at the end. Guess what? They're not because they're back in the sequel. So yeah, they were you know left to die essentially in a coffin sealed up. But apparently, this is all part of the extreme aspect. So you know, this whole one is they are released and they're going to seek out crazy stuff again. They didn't learn their lesson apparently. That's not. So, Sounds yeah. pretty dumb. <laughs> awesome. Well, a lot of people love the first one, which is why there's a sequel. But I think they could have come up with a better concept for the sequel or a, bit, or a different cast of crew. Maybe the other cast of, of people, characters, they saw the videos from the first people and they're like, oh, we're going to try to do the same thing instead of the same exact freaking people. But, oh well. Let's give it a chance. Okay. Nah, I, can, I can tell your excitement in the voice there. Oh, man. It's all exciting. Yay. Yay. <laughs> smells like barbecue. Ew. So we just finished watching The Houses That October Built Part 2, and we watched the ending of uh, The Houses That October Built, the first one, to kind of, uh, you know, get it fresh in our mind how this one ended. And the way this one ended is obviously you think that they die at the end, so having a second one kind of spoils that whole thing. And they try to add something a little bit different to the second one, but it's basically the same whole routine. The whole cast and crew is back, and it's directed again by Bobby Rowe, who's also uh, one of the cast members in here too, with along with his brother. Um, so, you know, it's the same kind of thing. They're looking for extreme haunts. Uh, in the second one, it comes out that uh, they all survived, and uh, the one girl in there is all freaked out. She doesn't really want to do it. They, they're getting paid to go to these haunts now and do, like, you know, social media posts and, you know, publicize about it. And so she's kind of reluctant at first to go along with them to these uh, haunts, and she's like, I don't want to do any extreme haunts. 
and they actually uh, go to the Easton uh, State Penitentiary, mm -hmm. and then they go to uh, Minnesota, which I guess one of the places in Minnesota is like the birthplace of Halloween, where they first started doing trick or treating, and they had Kobayashi, uh, the competitive eater, <laughs> in one of the scenes, and I'm like, this is what happens when Kobayashi loses a couple of the Nathan's <laughs> hot dog eating competitions, and that part actually was kind of weird because you couldn't hear some of the dialogue because there's like people in the background talking. And it's set one year later after the first one. And one thing that stood out immediately was the lead actress in the first one, uh, her hair was dark. And in the second one, uh, it was blonde. And she looks like a completely different person. They didn't mention it uh, briefly, but uh, it was kind of uh, an interesting thing. I thought maybe she could have dyed her hair back. Um, and then also, too, all of this essentially occurs because uh, the events from the first one were all uploaded to the internet and on YouTube, so they became internet celebrities, and the lead girl was nicknamed Coffin Girl, so that's how they got their popularity and decided to go ahead and do this all again for the money, because they're getting paid to go to these different haunts and, you know, kind of uh, talk about it on social media and publicize it and stuff. Uh, so that's why they decided to go ahead and do everything again, you know, even though they almost got killed apparently in the first one. And I understand that they wanted to cash in on the success of the first one with the sequel, but they could have gone about it in a much better way. Uh, making the sequel with the same cast just kind of ruins the whole concept and especially the ending for the first one. Uh, what they could have done was, you know, added a completely different cast, maybe uh, looking for the blue skeleton or, you know, trying to do a similar thing to gain their same kind of popularity with a, a new cast of characters and added a little bit different dynamic to it instead of kind of rehashing it. Uh, there's really nothing new here. They just try to, you know, play up the PR marketing kind of thing. Uh, as far as that and then there's a little thing at the end, but that doesn't really add anything to it again I think it kind of takes away and especially with again the ending right here uh, The fact that there is a sequel to the same cast just kills it and I felt like a lot of the uh, different haunts that they went to, especially like the, the zombie run, uh, it was more like an ad or even like a music video. Uh, that <laughs> one in particular was felt mm -hmm. just really long, unnecessarily long. And I think uh, the, the second one to me is just skippable. Uh, it's so flawed. It's just basically the same thing. A lot of the scenes were very similar. And the whole thing with the girl who was reluctant the whole freaking time, at the end when you have the big scary freaking thing that happens, she just goes along with it. They all go along with it. They're not freaking out. They're just like, oh, I guess this is what's going to happen. Uh, it's the same thing in the first one. They're getting like, screwed with with an RV and uh, it happens again in this one. And they end up, instead of uh, was it the blue skeleton uh, for the first one, and this one's hellbent is like the, you know, the extreme haunt. And they just waltz right in. The whole time this girl was, what was she? A scared little chicken? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, you use different terminology. Oh, wow. And yeah, there was a huge flaw the whole time. She's, you know, scared about it. And then she, when this happens, the big thing at the very end, the, the freaky one, she just goes along with it, doesn't complain. And uh, it just plays out and to a ridiculous kind of idea and concept and uh, to me it was just garbage it was skippable uh, like I said I received a screening link for this and there was an embargo uh, not to post it on reviews and whenever there's an embargo that's usually a red flag that it's gonna be garbage <laughs> I feel like that was the case for this one the first one people I can understand the love for I enjoyed it I love the concept but again I thought it was flawed especially the ending the last like 20 minutes was just boring and I uh, just leaves you wanting more to me and then for the second one i feel like they were just trying to capitalize off um how well the first one did and uh, i just it was unnecessary it was just a, a cash grab to me what do you think about it it was bad <laughs> it was pretty boring the best part about it was kind of like seeing different haunts that they went to like you said it was kind of like an advertisement for different places and it wanted to make me go like on haunted hay rides and stuff like that yeah but they did a haunted that. they went like you know to minnesota yeah. philadelphia georgia north yes. carolina so places all over yeah it was like fun and different looking stuff that they went to so it kind of made that entertaining but then once it got to the actual scary part of the movie it just wasn't scary it wasn't no. interesting like it's supposed to be a freaking horror movie it was pretty boring like 99 percent <laughs> of the movie and the payoff was 
essentially a joke. Um, it was like April Fool's Day, but uh, yeah, that was one of the, the only good things I can say about it were uh, the establishing shots and the shooting locations were nice. So yeah, they're doing the whole found footage style, so it's a lot of shaky cam, but they also have a drone. That's the new big thing. They're playing with the drone <laughs> the whole time, and they go up into the sky, you get some nice establishing shots that look really beautiful, but then you're like, ah, the movie's just terrible. <laughs> it's boring, and it just feels like a, an ad for different haunts all across the country, and then there's no real scares and when you think something scary is about to happen it really doesn't and there's no payoff and the houses that october built part two was just absolutely skippable for me the first one i think is worth checking out but again um i love the concept but i felt like the last 20 minutes the ending was just a missed opportunity and they have the, the creepy doll chick on there who's also in the second one they did not utilize her enough in either one of the films uh again just a just a mess the second film for me so I felt like I just dominated that whole thing. I just went on kind of on a rant because I was just so angry about how bad it was. So I'm going to give you a, a chance to talk a little bit more about it. I mean, I, you kind of said all the things that I would have said. Um, it was just really bad and the ending didn't make much sense. And you couldn't hear like the dialogue, like not so there'd be spoilers, but there's like a scene where like she walks into a room and she's watching like this video and she's like piecing all the pieces together i think they're not you're not supposed to hear that dialogue yeah but like but you I know, know that's the thing too when we when we're watching the ending to that i called the whole twist right you did and because you i did. just thought it was super predictable super formulaic and when it, when it happens you're just like oh come on now this is what you're gonna do and it just it just fails yeah but yeah and that was another thing too the dialogue especially with the Kobayashi scene when they're in mm -hmm. Minnesota. I'm like, muffled. what was the point of even like refilm <laughs> that, dub it, do something. They could have done so much more. It just yeah. seems so amateurish. It's low budget horror, of course, but they could do it better. The first one was decent up until the ending for me. But uh, am I, am I, I was going to turn it. Am I, I doing gonna, the shaky No, thing? I was going to turn it towards you because you were just talking. I know. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I got on like a whole rant about this because I was very, so freaking annoyed. very enraged about I was. I was. this movie was. Grr. Grr. Yeah, so I felt bad because I was like dominating this whole conversation because I was just so, you know, enraged by it. But right. I just wanted to give you a chance to speak a little bit more on it. Thanks. Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the movie for the House of October Built 2? Um, getting to see uh, the penitentiary in Philly because I love it there. Eastern State? Yes. Awesome, awesome place. That was one of the cool uh, things I would yeah. say about where they show some of the real haunts and, you know, attractions for... Uh, yeah. And you can go to um, the Eastern State um, even during the year. It's not just a Halloween attraction. They do, like, tours throughout the year. And it's just as creepy throughout the year. Not to, like, plug it or whatever. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's what the whole thing was. Like, a play for all these ones. Like, the one in Georgia, the zombie run, that was looked epic. There's a zombie run around here in this area, too. But the zombie run in Georgia, it looks like it was, like, a set for, like, Resident Evil or The Walking yeah. Dead. It was, like, like very intricate. Subway. Yeah, it was, like, crazy. I, but then that whole thing felt way too long. If They had the music mm -hmm. going. It felt like a music video slash ad for that. I mean, it did look epic, but it just felt kind of out of place overall for the movie. But yeah. that was probably the best part, seeing those uh, probably, the haunted attractions. Probably the best part was seeing the haunted attractions and, like, kind of reminding me about, even though, like, I'm terrified of that kind of stuff and I get really scared, I love going. Um, so it kind of just, like, amped me up for, like, Halloween. Uh, but other than that, it didn't really do anything for me. Yeah. So if you're thinking about watching The Houses That October Built 2, just watch the first one and... Uh, <laughs> You'll have a we much just better burst movie. your bubble. I know. Because <laughs> the second one to me, it's just, again, you'd have to be a super hardcore fan of the first one. Uh, and I don't even think you can appreciate it. On, for me, on any level, it just doesn't really work. But again, in rant, what would you rate it out of uh, 10, the second one? Um, Like a 2. A 2 out of or 10? A 3. A 3 out of it 10? It was pretty bad. It was worse than that Australian film you made us watch. <laughs> Coffin Rock. I, Coffin Rock, to me, the, I mean, The Houses of October Built uh, Part 2 makes Coffin Rock look like friggin' Citizen <laughs> Kane. Um, the Houses that October Built Part 2, I would give probably about a 3 out of 10. It was nearly unwatchable. If it wasn't for, you know, some of the nice uh, cinematography establishing shots and, you know, the drone actually worked well to that aspect. They kind of talked about it a little bit too much. And it was kind of, it felt like a, an advertisement for different haunts, which was, some of them were actually neat to see. 
but it just didn't work on any level. Um, it, again, if you're really a huge, huge fan, maybe if you want to see the same people doing the same kind of thing, uh, <laughs> but on a more watered down level, that's what the houses um, that October built two is it's just a watered down version of the first one with a terrible ending even worse than the ending for this one so that's my thoughts on it i mean i, I would give it probably about a, a three out of ten uh for the houses that october built two uh the first one i think is a decent worth checking out i'd give it probably like a, a 6.5 to a seven for the first one but the second one i give a three out of ten and you give about two or three out of ten <laughs> yeah. so yeah i mean if you've seen the first uh houses that october built right there let us know what you think about it and if you've seen uh part two let us know what you think of that too or if you're interested in seeing part two um again i think it's skippable completely skippable um what, what do you think? Is it skippable? Definitely 110,000%. 110,000% skippable. Skip. But there you go. That was our movie night for The Houses That October Built 2. And, you know, rate it, again, we watched the trailer, and the whole concept of having the second one just completely spoils the first one. The, everything that the first one had going, where it leaves you uh, thinking that they might have been killed and died. And they don't even play that up enough, too. Like, in... Uh, you know they kind of give stuff away at the very ending of the, the sequel as to why maybe some of the cast members weren't so freaked out about it but the first you know the girl it just it didn't make any sense the whole time she's freaked out and then she's not freaked out suddenly so i don't know that was a big flaw for the movie but yeah overall a disappointment i could not recommend the houses that october built two Again, if you've seen it, definitely let us know what you think of it. Leave us a comment or a video response down below. Hopefully we'll watch a better movie coming up tomorrow. Yes. Take care.